Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon over at Cable Channel 3 and today is Friday, July the 26th and you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org or you can come by the center. We are on the south side of the square. Come by any morning from 9.30 until 12 and pay us a visit and see us live in action and we, there's always a welcoming uh, voice for you and a welcoming cup of coffee and some good fellowship so come by and see us anytime. Today's weather in the, the greater Midwest region it, it is experiencing a cold front that may bring with it strong or severe thunderstorms. And it's being fueled by a, a wave of low pressure, and this low pressure can cause some heavy rains throughout the area. And last night, I'm sure the area welcomed the rains. It wasn't heavy, but it fell for a long time, and, sh and the area certainly enjoyed that um, rain. Um, but by Saturday, by tomorrow, the cold front should recede, it should go away, and uh, while it is here though, the, it will cause cooler lows in the 60s and warmer highs in the 90s, and that should be the pattern in most of Kansas and Oklahoma um, area. But right now in the square, it is a partly cloudy with winds north northwesterly at 40 miles per hour and after that refreshing rain we, I talked about last night it is a nice 77 degrees with a 75 percent um, humidity and over the next six hours or so it will be mostly sunny with temperatures rising to the 86 degrees for the high today and tonight the low will go back down to about 60 degrees with mostly clear skies and a relative humidity of 68%. And the wind pattern is in that north northeasterly pattern at 20 miles per hour. Over the weekend, we can look forward to some good weather um, so you can enjoy outdoor activities and family outdoor fun. And uh, on Saturday, we should see a high of 81 degrees, a uh, low of 62 degrees, and this should be partly cloudy again, though a uh, stray thunderstorm might interrupt the day. And on Sunday, we could see isolated thunderstorms also, with the cooler highs at 75 degrees and uh, the lows at 63 degrees with a 30% chance of rain and the winds east southeast at 14 miles per hour. Still all a very good weather pattern um, for the region over the next couple of days. In our community uh, we have some birthdays and uh, we want to wish Joanne Massey a birth happy birthday uh, for the 25th, and Mac Simmern, uh, and then Brenna, Mar Brenna Martin uh, for the 26th, and uh, Everett and Jill Carl Hudson, they have an anniversary today also. So if you see these people, we wish them a happy birthday, and Jill and Everett a happy anniversary. And then on the 28th, Phyllis Staub, and Marita Fox have birthdays also. So wish them a happy birthday. Um, the Red Cross is asking you to put on your calendars August the 9th because there will be a blood drive over the um, IOOF gym and it's right there on 700 East 1st. Please, if you are able to give blood, uh, there's a great need for um, all blood types, really, the universal donors and the universal acceptors. So if whatever blood type you are, please, if you can donate blood, um, be willing to do so on August the 9th from 
9 to 11 from 11 until 4 p.m. at the center. Uh, and there's a really urgent need for, for blood as the supplies are very low at this moment. And over at the Stafford County, uh, the golf course is offering a no green fees um, come August the 1st. Uh, so you can play golf over at the Stafford golf course uh, for no cost. And that is really, really a, a good service that the county is offering to um, the community. And if you have young people who, who like the game, it's probably never too early to get them started. You, you may have some young Tiger Woods or something in, in the making, so do use that service. And the Senior Center is um, having a trip to Dodge on August the, on uh, July the 30th. So do, that's next Tuesday coming up, July the 30th. And the van is going to leave at 8 a.m. and they should be back here at between 2.30 and 3 p.m. that day. And um, looks as if we should have good weather. So please call over at the center if you would like to reserve a seat. And the cost is only $10. And they're going to the Dodge City Casino. And you can do the casino and sometimes some shopping also. And over at the First United Methodist Church, the young people have been having a great um, week of fun and learning uh, about um, God's Word and learning about countries all over the world. And the Vacation Bible School is centered on the theme Everywhere Fun Fair. It's for youths four years to eight to the eighth grade. And the children are really learning um, how to be good neighbors to people all over the world. And they have some beautiful songs that they sing. They do some wonderful craft. And um, they have games that teach them how to share with each other and how to share God's word. And this evening, you are invited, the community and the parents of the children are invited to come out to see a short program, a presentation of what they have learned this week. And it will be preceded by um, uh, a supper, a uh, light supper. And then you have the program and then you have the exhibition that the, that, um, the, of the crafts that the kids have made. So do come out and support the young people. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much they have learned and how enthusiastic they are to be participating in that. Today over at the Maxwell Center on our menu, as we come down to the end of the week, Today we have baked fish, and it's hash brown potatoes, capri vegetables, a cinnamon roll, and a fruit mix, mandarin oranges, and marshmallows. And Monday you can look forward to au gratin potatoes, green beans, served with meatloaf, and a citrus fruit cup. And um, on Tuesday it's oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, asparagus with roe, um, all very appetizing over at the Maxwell Center. And similarly, over at the Sunflower Center, today we have on the menu roast beef, scalloped potatoes, corn, uh, fruit, apple sauce bar, and Monday, meatloaf, baked potato, beets, and a cabbage salad served with some apricots. And on Tuesday, it's a Swiss steak, potatoes, corn, um, jello, and a cherry surprise. Good, good, good eating at both centers. So do call over at the center if you are wanting to participate in their menus over there. And today's, we have as a thought for the day, I always have one, everywhere 
life has its dark and cheerful hours. Every life, mine and yours. But happiness comes from choosing which to remember. Every life has its dark and cheerful hours, but happiness comes from choosing which to remember. Have a great weekend and go out and enjoy some outdoor activities and we shall see you.